Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Back with another reading for the collective. Thanks for joining me at the Essence of Life Tarot. I hope everyone's good, doing well. Big thank you to my returning subscribers. I really love and appreciate you guys. If you're new, you're more than welcome. Thanks for joining. So let's jump into the reading. Do remember it is a general reading. Only take what resonates with you. So the messages we've got for this reading, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this reading is picking up on a connection you have with someone that feels strong chemistry for you during this time. You and this person have chemistry. We got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for. We got it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. And we've got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Wow. So someone, this connection here. Yeah, you've got a connection with someone that feels strong chemistry for you. During this time, they want to make the effort, it looks like. They're waiting for you, worth waiting for, for some of you. Or oh, this person's worth waiting for. You're waiting for this person. Take how it resonates. I don't know. This is someone that's uh, opened up their heart here. For you. It's safe for you to love. This is someone that loves you. So it looks like uh, you got someone coming in here. Whoever it is, it has a strong magnetic attraction for you. So let's tap into the energies to see what spirit wants us to be aware of with this connection during this time. I'll do a free card spread. He's giving page of pentacles in reverse. We've got the fool in reverse. Three of wands. Okay, so it looks like during this time, you're at a point where you're moving on from this person, I feel, with the three of wands. Someone's moving on here. It looks like you got your back turned to this person. So, yeah, this is someone that wants a fresh start then. You may be trying to move on. I feel like you're, you're in this energy of moving on. You're focused on the future. Moving forward, you're not looking back. Your back is turned and you're not looking back. You're focused on the future right now. Yeah, you could be travelling soon for some of you or you're planning to travel or something. Something's coming in for you. Yeah, something's coming in for you. And that's what you're focused on right now for some of you. But whoever this is that wants to make the effort, they're focused on you. They want a fresh start here, Page of Pentacles, The Fool. They want to take a leap of faith with you during this time and hope for the best. But because your back's turned, yeah, it's in reverse. This person here, you might they might, you might have blocked this person. There could be blocked messages here. This may follow on from the previous reading. I did pick up on someone that wants to come towards you, but they're blocked for some of you. There's, just, there's blocked messages here. Yeah, there's blockages. If not, then this person's reaching out to you, but you're not really responsive. You've got your back turned. You could be ignoring this person during this time. Take out, it resonates. Yeah, it looks like this person is being ignored during this time. Either way, it could be dealing with an Aries with a full energy. It looks like this person broke the trust. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that uh, can't be trusted. So I feel like this is why you're moving on from this connection. Yeah, let's clarify. Looking deeper. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is coming towards you. They want a fresh start. Yeah, it looks like they're stalking you. Page of Swords. Yeah, we've got the Six of Cups. King of Wands. King of Wands in reverse. 
So this is a masculine energy here. A masculine fire sign for some of you. Aries. I did pick up on Aries here. Strong Aries. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius. Take out it resonates. Doesn't have to be, but yeah. I mean, King of Wands in reverse. This is a masculine energy that can't be trusted. You know? This is a masculine energy that sleeps around. They're a player. I feel like this is someone that... You, you feel like they're not for you during this time. Yeah, this is why you got your back turned. They're not for you, hey, but they want a fresh start. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that you may have been involved with. Yeah, you could have had a romantic connection with this person or a sexual connection. Take out it resonates. King of Wands, I mean, this is someone that is driven by sex. This is someone, you know... That is yearning to sleep with you, I'm getting. Chemistry. So for some of you, you may have been sexually involved with this person here. They're missing you. If not, then uh, this is someone that's yearning to sleep with you. Yeah, they're attracted to you. Either way, this is someone that feels a strong magnetic attraction for you when it comes to you. Hey, King of Wands. But it looks like that's all they got on their mind, though. King of Wands in reverse. That's all they got on their mind. That's their goal, to sleep with you during this time. They want to hook up, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, they're not in it for... I did pick up on it. I did tie it in the reading. I picked up on a masculine that's coming in for a fun time. Not a long time. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse here. Yeah, this person's not coming in for a long time. They're coming in for a fun time. This is a, this is a short term... Maybe this is a fling or something this person wants to have with you during this time. Yeah, this person is not serious. Yeah, you got your guard up, I feel, yeah. They want you to compromise. I mean, they're coming in. They want you to compromise with them during this time. Seven of Wands in reverse. They want you to let your guard down a little bit. Uh, but it's a challenge, I feel. Yeah, it's a challenge for this person to get through into your good graces right now yeah i feel like you've completely shut this person out you're ignoring them it's it's, it's challenging for this person this masculine here to get their way with you it looks like a challenge it's not easy yeah it's not easy for this masculine here to get what they want with you during this time you're not making it easy it looks like yeah don't look like they're giving up though and they're waiting for you, back to this, worth waiting for. This mask is waiting for you. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. They're waiting. It looks like they're stalking you as well. This masculine stalks you, man, I feel. Yeah, it looks like they are flipping on your ass, <laughs> so to speak. I feel, during this time... Yeah, unbeknownst to you, I feel, because you're ignoring them. You got your back turned. You don't know that this person is right behind you. I don't know. It's like they're near. This person's near to you, I feel. They are near. Wherever you are right now, this person is, this is someone that's near. They're not far. I feel. I'm getting that. They're stalking you. This is someone that's in your surroundings or something. Yeah, they're stalking you, man. Watching you. This is someone watching you. Gosh, for some of you, I'm getting they may follow you as well. I'm getting that for some of you. Three of Wands. While you're out and about. Three of Wands, yeah. While you're out traveling, I don't know. This person may follow you. I don't want to creep nobody out. I don't want to creep you out, but... I don't know, I'm getting that for some of you. Like, this is giving weirdo energy, man. There's the King of Wands in reverse. This is someone following. King of Wands. You know, is the energy, is the masculine energy of a leader. But in reverse, it's a follower. It came out in reverse. So this masculine is a follower. They're not a leader. They're a follower during this time. It looks like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like this is someone that follows you. 
if they don't follow you physically, then they definitely follow you like online. If this is some of uh, someone that follows you online, but they really stalk you though. If they do, it's like either way, they stalk you hard. They're stalking you heavy during this time. This is what is given. Mm. I'm getting obsession. This is someone that's obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. It looks like they get tarot readings and stuff. To page of Pentacles in reverse. They're stalking you heavily. Stalking you spiritually. They stalk you spiritually. For some of you, it's physically. For some of you, it's online. For some of you, it's all of the above. I don't know. This person is, is serious. The obsession for you is serious, I feel. I'm picking up on some serious obsession with you during this time from this person. Because you're not giving them no attention. Yeah. The attraction for you is magnetic. So this person's on your ass during this time. Wow. I can't get past it. Shit. So yeah, you may need to pay attention here. Yeah, you need to pay attention because this masculine is planning on you. Planning. Is pl making plans here to come for you. It don't look like this masculine is taking no for an answer. I'm getting that. They're not taking no for an answer here. As much as the this masculine is not a leader, but they, they can be a bully. You know, King of Wands in reverse is like a bully. They, they can be a bully. They can be really um forceful. They can get forceful when they don't get their way. Yeah, this is someone for some of you. This is the type of masculine that will get sex that gets sexually aggressive. This is that type. Uh, they get forceful. Hmm. Maybe this is why you're you're walking away. You're moving on because this is a masculine that doesn't make you feel safe. They don't make you feel safe. You can't trust this masculine here. Yeah. And not only that, you know, you don't know where this masculine's been as well. King of Wands are reversed. This masculine's sleeping around. This is the energy of a masculine that sleeps around. They have more than one sex partner. Yeah, this is someone that has multiple partners. They're a narcissist. They're a user, a player, manipulator. Yeah. This is the type that has one one night stands. This, this is not a masculine that's committed. They may have commitment phobia or whatever, but they're not um, focused on commitment during this time. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They just want a fun time during this time with people. You don't know where this masculine has been. They want to come in towards you and have fun time with you, but you don't even know where they've been, man. Shit. I mean, they can't be trusted. They're out here. Living a promiscuous lifestyle, it looks like. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like you're someone that has standards. Hence why the situation is like this. Yeah, you, you're you not settling for this. You want better than this. Yeah, you feel like this masculine is not for you. Because like, this is what I'm getting. Oh, gosh. I feel like you're someone that's got standards for yourself. You you know you deserve better than this. You deserve to be treated better than this. You can get better than this. You know? But this masculine is obsessed with you. That's the thing. This is what I'm getting. They're obsessed with you. I mean, you're making it a challenge for them, but they're up for the challenge, it looks like. They are up for the challenge. Maybe that's part of the thrill. That's part of the attraction. For some of you, that's part of the attraction, you know. The fact that you're playing hard to get. That could be part of the attraction. I don't know. But they're up for the challenge here. They're not giving up. They're not taking no for an answer. Yeah, they're stalking you. and oh, They won't leave you alone, it looks like. This is someone that won't leave you alone. Wow. What else do we need to know here? About this energy. Commitment. So this is someone that sees a future with you. Friend support. 
This, this is someone talking to their friends about you here. Partying. Party with their friends. This is someone uh, that's out here with their friends. Yeah, it's like... I don't know, they want to commit to you. They want commitment. They're thinking about commitment. You got this person thinking about commitment now. I don't know. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. It's like they may want to work on a commitment with here with you. They want to make the effort. Back to this. Make the effort. They want to make the effort. It looks like you got them thinking How about committing to you here. I'm telling you. You may be different. I don't know. It's like you're teaching this masculine les lessons. I don't know. But this challenge, you're challenging this masculine here. I don't know. They feel challenged. Because for some of you, this masculine knows you deserve a relationship. A loving, loyal, trustworthy, respectful relationship here. This is what you deserve. For some of you, they know that this is what you, you, you're getting. You're moving on to. Yeah, I mean, this person, they may see, like, a future with someone like you, you know, because they, they look at you as wifey material. They look at you as marriage material. When it's all said and done, you are marriage material. Yeah. But at the same time, this is this is someone that this masculine is not. This masculine is not marriage material. Yeah, they're all about sex, drugs and rock and roll. Party and bullshit. They're not ready to settle down. This is what I said. This is what I picked up. King of Wands in reverse. This is someone that's not focused on commitment right now. They're looking for a fun time. They're not looking for a long time. I don't know, but they're conflicting now. You got them thinking. Long term now, you know? But really, they're about this life. Partying. Party and bullshit. Sex, drugs and rock and roll. Just want to be free to party with their friends. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is like someone that, that hasn't grown up. This is like Peter Pan syndrome. The boy that never wants to grow up. Sort of thing. Yeah. They're not marriage material. That's the problem. You are, but they're not. And maybe this is how you feel. This is why you got your back turned. Yeah, this person's not marriage material. They're not showing marriage material. The way they treat you. Yeah. It's not giving marriage material. Yeah, they're talking about you to their friends. It's all part of the plan anyway. Yeah, this is God's plan. I feel like you're being guided to move on. Trust the plan. Yeah, you're being guided to move on. Trust the plan. It's part of God's plan here. This is what I'm getting. You're being guided to move on here. This is someone that's not serious, man. During this time. This is someone that just wants their cake and eat it. It looks like... Unintentional. It says, I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. So this is someone that feels bad. Yeah. So I'm telling you, this is a connection where this masculine uh, didn't treat you, didn't treat you good. I'm telling you, they were playing you, lying to you, manipulating you. They may have been a bully towards you for some of you. They may have been aggressive towards you. I'm telling you, they didn't treat you good. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, you may have got hurt dealing with this person. So they feel bad, unintentional. They didn't mean it. Da -da, yeah. You're making them feel bad now. You're making them feel bad. For whatever they did to you, they, you're making them feel bad now. They're starting to feel it. Yeah. Because you have got your guard up, uh, it looks like. <laughs> you are not 
giving in, you know, sort of thing. Like, it's a challenge for this masculine. It's not easy. Look, stalking. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. This, whoever this masculine is right now, they're obsessed with you. I can see that. I can see that this is someone stalking you, man. I said that. Whoever this is on your ass. They're stalking you online. For some of you, it's online. Your social media. This is someone that stalks your social media daily. I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. Often. Yes. During this time, this masculine is looking at you because they're... They feel like you're moving on to somebody else. They want to be nosy. They want to know who you're moving on with. They feel like you're moving on to somebody else. They want to get info. This is someone trying to get info on you. They're keeping tabs on you here. Shit. Keeping serious tabs on you. Wow. Can't make this up. we got double life. This is someone living a double life. Yeah, I'm living a double life and I'm a different person in each. Yeah, you can't trust this person. They're fake. This is someone that's a shapeshifter for some of you or something. Shit, a double life, you know. So they're one way with you and they're different with other people. Oh gosh, they're living a double life. So they got a whole different life outside of you. Another life. Wow, this person can't be trusted. For some of you, this masculine is in the closet. It's may follow in from the previous reading. I picked up on a masculine that's in the closet. Yeah, I'm also getting that. You may, if you haven't watched that reading, you might want to check it out. Yeah, because it looks like this may tie in with that reading here. This masculine spends a lot of time with their friends, partying, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Double life. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this mask is in the closet here. This ties in with the previous reading. See, I'm telling you, this, this is the issue here. For some of you, maybe this is what you're aware of. This is why you're moving on. Yeah. This masculine hurt you because they chose a, another situation over you. A same-sex situation, it looks like, for some of you. I'm, I'm getting that. So now they're desperate. They're desperate to talk to you. I need answers. Talk to me. I'm going mad. Trying to understand. So yeah, this is someone you're ignoring. You're ignoring this person. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is someone that's not taking no for an answer. They're not giving up. They are not giving up here. They're actually desperate, man to talk they're worried now shit you got them worried you have got this person worried it's too late yeah it's too late they want to make up they want to make things right but it's too late for some of you it's too late you've checked out man it looks like it looks like you've checked out of this connection now this is someone that may have took things too far they've pushed things pushed you to the limit it's like enough's enough, you're fed up, but there's, yeah, I feel like you're fed up, I don't know, it's too late. you got this masculine worried, the way you're moving now, wow, you, you got them really worried now. I'm telling you, they're stressed out, they're leaning on their friends now to help them out here. You got them worried. Yeah. Shit. This is someone that um, played themselves, it looks like, when it came to you. Ooh, it looks like they played themselves. Yeah, we've got Verge. I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. This is someone that really wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. There's something they want to confess for some of you. Yeah, we've got dying love. Wow. I'm telling you, this this masculine, it's too late. This masculine may have pushed things too far, pushed you to the limit, you know. It's like the love that you have for this person is dying out. They feel you slipping away. 
Yeah, they're sorry. Apology. I'm so sorry for disappointing you. Will you accept my apology? They're sorry. They want to apologize. Is this someone apologising to you here? Yeah, erased. I deleted everything that reminded me of you. Yeah, this is a masculine. Try to erase you, delete you. Keep you in a love triangle. We've got a love triangle. I have been seeing someone else and I'm having trouble choosing. Yeah, this masculine here is trying to keep you part of some third party lifestyle that they got going on here. So not only are they talking to you, trying to get with you, they get they also got someone else that they're holding on to as well. This is why you're moving on. You don't want to be part of this love triangle. Do you know what I mean? You deserve better than this. This is a player here. Trying to have their cake and eat it. This is what I'm saying. You don't know where they were last night. This must be wants to come in and try and sleep with you, but you don't know where they were last night. It looks like they were with someone else last night, for some of you. You don't know where they're coming from. But it looks like they were coming from somewhere. Yes, sir. Telepathic. So this is someone that's trying to communicate with you telepathically here. Yeah, because they're angry. You're ignoring them. Yeah, they're angry that you're ignoring them here. You've got your boundaries. Yeah, so this is someone that's drinking heavily during this time. Escapism. This person is drinking. Yeah, this is it. They can't cope. This is someone drinking a lot, it looks like. With their friends. Yeah. Escape the pain. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. This is someone that's drinking a lot. Yeah, with their friends and that. Yeah, trying to escape the pain, the mental agony here, that you're not talking to them. I'm getting. It's, they got, they're having a mental breakdown. Yeah, dying love. Yeah, they messed up. Apology. Yeah, they tried to erase you. They thought, yeah, love triangle. They tried to erase you. I deleted everything that reminded me of you. <sighs> yeah, this is someone trying to hide. They're trying to hide you from their other lover, for some of you. I don't know, I'm getting that. This is someone trying to hide you from their other lover. Yeah, because they're living a double life. So, if they have any pictures or messages of you, from you, they raise it. Because they're, cause they're living a double life. Love triangle. Yeah. So, the love for you that you have for them is dying. Yeah. They killed it. They killed the love, man. They took they took your love for granted, it looks like. Yeah, now they're sorry because, yeah, I feel like you've checked out. It looks like you have checked out. Yeah. They're going through some mental breakdown here. I'm getting... Trying to escape the pain and stuff during this time. It looks like this is someone that's uh, drowning their sorrows. Missing you, I'm getting. They want you back. They're sorry. They feel bad for how they did you, man. They feel bad. They do. You're making them feel it. Yeah. But this is someone that's... Uh, Still holding on to someone else, you know, they're still not uh, serious. So it's like, what do you want, sort of thing? Like, I don't know, this masculine is, is, is all over the place, I feel. They, they're still holding on to someone else. They're sorry for how they treated you, but they're not that sorry because they ain't changed. They're, they're still living a double life, you know, being fake out here. They still got a love triangle going on. They're still trying to hold on to you and someone else. So they're all over the place. There's masculine here. I don't know. I feel like you've checked out at this point. This is someone that's not that's just not serious, I feel. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person just wants fun, it looks like. It looks like they just want fun during this time. Yeah, they want to make amends. 
They feel bad how they treated you, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't rush into bed with this person. It looks like. <laughs> Yeah, look, we also got feelings. So this is someone that's got strong feelings for you. It's emotional. This is why they're drinking, man. Drowning their sorrows. Feelings. All into my feelings. Trip, trip, tripping on you. Yeah, this mask is tripping on you. This is what I'm getting. Wow. They are tripping. Look at them. Shit, this mask is tripping over you. <laughs> There's strong magnetic attraction. The attraction for you, man, is insane. I'm getting it. It's the chemistry. I feel like you and this person have strong chemistry. That's what it is. They can't get enough of you, but whoever this masculine is, is a bad boy. You know? They're a bad boy. Yeah. And look at this. Queen Bee. And you're a Queen Bee. Right, uh, secure, confident, boss bitch, career focused. That's what time it is. Yeah, that's what you're focused on. Your career, you're just working on yourself. Career, boss bitch. This is it. Yes, this bad boy is trying to get with this queen bee. This is what I'm getting. Yes, this is what I'm getting. <laughs> wow, you're showing them what you're made of. Yeah, look, they feel like shit. They are feeling like shit. Not happy. Yeah, you're not happy in this connection with this masculine. You may feel like this masculine doesn't make you happy. They don't make you happy here. It's not enough. They're not happy. Yeah, for some of you, this masculine is not happy with the third party. This double life, whoever they live another life with, this love triangle, they're not happy in that connection either. Yeah, they feel like shit. They got feelings for you. It's you that they got feelings for, the boss bitch. <laughs> They're not happy in that other connection, that third party. Yeah, feeling like shit. Yeah, drinking. Wow. Fairy tale, we got phony, trickster, illusions, fairy tale. Yeah, this masculine is a trickster. Yeah, they're phony, man. This masculine is fake and phony out here, you know? I'm telling you, they're a trickster. You can't trust them. They're not serious. They're going to come in and love bomb you, tell you things that they feel like you want to hear so that they can get in your pants. This is what I'm saying. They're playing games. It's an illusion. This is someone selling you a dream. This must be selling you a dream. Yeah. Fairy tales. This, so this is fake. You know, they're coming in to love bomb you, but it's it's fake. It's an illusion here. This masculine is hiding another life for some of you. Double life, you know. They're in the closet for some of you. Yeah. They're not who you think they are. Yeah, look, too late. Yeah, it's too late to apologise. It's too late. I f I, this is what I'm picking out. Like, you have checked out. And you're focusing on your career. And this masculine is living a fantasy out here. Yeah, it's illusions. They're living a fantasy out here. You've checked out. You're a queen bee. It's too late. You've checked out here. I'm telling you. Yeah, dying love, isn't it? Dying love. Checking out. It's like you're over it, man. I feel like you're over it. Yeah. Childhood wounds. This masculine is triggered. They got childhood wounds. Yeah, they may suffer with abandonment and that from, from their childhood. So you could be triggering this masculine's childhood wounds for some of you. Or them, their, their childhood wounds is triggered by this situation with you. This is why they feel like shit. Mixed signals. 
This masculine may give you mixed signals. Yeah. This masculine may feel like you give them mixed signals. So there's mixed signals between you and this masculine. Mmm. Yeah. I feel like it stems from this masculine. They don't know what they want. With this love triangle and double life that they live. It, it's giving. They don't know what they want. Or it's giving someone that's greedy. That wants their cake and eat it. So they give mixed signals. Because they're, they're, they're too busy sneaking, you know, sneaking around between one life to the next, double life. Keeping secrets, lying, sneaking around, giving mixed signals. This is it. Nobody ain't got time for that. Side hustle. So this masculine's got side hustle, round and round. Yeah, nobody ain't got time. It's the same old, same old with this masculine. Cycles, triggers, lessons, they don't learn their lesson. Keep making the same mistakes, doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, for some of you, they're blocked. Yeah. You block them, you're ignoring them. You may have found out something shocking. There's shocking news. There's something shocking you found out or you will find out here. Yeah? Something about a side hustle. Something about a side hustle. This masculine keeps going back to a situation because of a side hustle. They make money in another situation with someone else. So this this third party situation that they got going on, they got a side hustle going on with that person. This is why they keep going back and forth, round and round, cycles. Yeah. They don't learn their lessons. This is what it is. I'm telling you, it's triggers. They keep getting triggers. Childhood wounds, triggers. Yeah. This is someone that doesn't... It's the same old, same old. Something shocking is going to be... You're going to find out something shocking. Or maybe you have, and that's why you're moving on. Yeah. This masculine is not getting no attention from you. This is why they're stalking you like this. Wow. This is why they're stalking you like this. Yeah, at the bottom, love, hate. Yeah, this is a love, hate connection. It's masculine. Yeah, you have this connection is love, hate. This masculine loves you and hates you. You may feel the same. I don't know. It's mixed signals, isn't it? I know. I'm telling you. So there's an ending. Funeral. Yeah, so there's an ending here. You're closing out this chapter. Yeah, you're closing out the door. You close the door. Someone's being fake busy. You could be fake busy, they're fake busy, yeah, trying to avoid something. Look, moving on, letting go, loving you, free. Yeah, you're moving on, letting go, loving you, queen bee. Moving on, that's what I'm saying, man, free. Yeah, they want to come and apologise, you're giving it the side eye. You're giving it the side eye. Yeah, really? Fake, they go for a spiritual warfare. Yeah, this masculine is bisexual. Yep, yeah, this ties in with the previous reading. Yep, yeah, you need to watch that previous reading if you haven't already. This masculine is bisexual and this is what it is. This is what I'm saying. You don't know where this masculine has been. They want to come in and sleep with you, but you don't know where they've been. You live a double life. This is what I'm saying. Double life here. They're in the closet for some of you. They're in the closet. This masculine... Uh, is into men but they're in the closet they're trying to hide it you know backstab this masculine feels backstabbed this masculine may have backstabbed you yeah for this double life this is what happened this is why you're moving on because it's a love hate one minute they hate love you next minute they hate you they backstabbed you here yeah it's an ending they're pretending that they're busy but they were backstabbing you with their down low lover. For some of you, they got a down low lover here. As well as, uh, you know, another situation with someone else. Wow. Yeah, they backstabbed you. This must be backstabbed you here. They may have felt backstabbed by you. Take out it resonates. This must be being backstabbed here. Pain, cheating, deception, mind games, love bomb. Yeah. 
this I'm getting this masculine got backstabbed by their same sex lover they got backstabbed there in their third party situation mm. goodbye yeah spiritual gifts karma someone's getting karma this is masculine's karma yeah you're someone that's spiritual yeah you've got spiritual gifts this is why yeah this is why you're you're ahead of the game here this is why you're ahead of the game you have spiritual gifts and this is why this masculine can't get away with these behaviors with someone like you these sneaky behaviors they can't get away with it with someone like you yes you got spiritual gifts and you got standards it looks like yes angel answers it's up to you angel answers so this one says it's up to you the balls in your court you can take it or leave it if you want this masculine wants you they want to make they want to work it out with you worth waiting for so for some of you this masculine could be willing to make some changes worth waiting for They could be willing to go through make some changes here. The situation with you is making them go within. It's up to you. The ball's in your court here. You can take it or leave it. Either way, you're good. It looks like... <sighs> Either way, you are good. Yeah. We also got forgiveness. So it's all about forgiveness during this time. This masculine wants your forgiveness. They're sorry, they want to apologize. You know, they do want to apologize. They want to talk to you. They're desperate to talk to you. They're on the verge. They want to confess their feelings. They want to talk. Yeah, they may tell you something shocking for some of you. They may tell you something shocking here. You may find out something shocking from this masculine. I don't know. They want your forgiveness, though. They're stressing. This is what I'm getting. This masculine stressing. They're angry. They're desperate to talk to you here. He's giving desperate, desperation, desperate to talk to you, angry, desperate. So it looks like this masculine, like I said, this masculine is not taking no for an answer. They're not going to give up just like that. They are making an effort, you know, back to this message here, make the effort. This is a masculine that's trying to make an effort here to make amends with you. So uh, they want your forgiveness. They feel bad. I'm getting that this masculine does feel bad. They are, I feel like this masculine do, they have a, emotion, a strong emotional attachment to you. You affect this masculine deeply, emotionally. As much as they are a player out here and they're a bad boy, but you affect them emotionally. You do. They have a strong emotional attachment to you. So if things that you do and say, it affects them. It affects this masculine deeply. Yeah, they can't cope when it comes to you. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. They have a strong emotional attachment to you. Yeah, so they feel bad. You know, it affects them when you treat them like this, when things are like this with you and them. It affects them. It is crazy, but then they're the ones that cause it in the first place. They're the reason why situations like this. It's self-sabotage. I just don't get it. And then when, you know, this is... 
So this is how you deal with the situation by taking yourself out of the equation and focusing yourself, you know, and focus on moving on. Then they want to act all, you know, they want to sulk and act, be all angry and emotional and... But, really? Oh, this is someone that's got a lot to learn, I feel. That's what it is. They've got a lot to learn when it comes to love and life. They still got a lot to learn. So forgive them because I feel like this is someone that really don't know what they're doing at the best of times. Maybe they are alcoholic for some of you. They're drunk. They're always drunk or, you know, the drinking affects their judgment, affects them. I don't know. They jump into situations without thinking. They don't. They can't control their sexual urges because they drink a lot. So they get horny. They can't control themselves. They have a lot of reckless sex because they're drinking and party lifestyle. You know, this is someone. Uh, they need. They got a lot to learn. This is some game. They got a lot to learn, man. Yeah. So yeah, forgiveness. Forgive. Is someone still learning, I feel? Is only someone like you, because I feel like you got you made an impact here on this person, this masculine. Yeah, you've made an impact on this masculine. So only someone like you can make them feel it, feel the pain so that it can help them to change and grow. Because sometimes some people like this, you know, certain people that are stubborn, especially people that are stubborn, those of us that are stubborn, we have to uh, experience the pain, in it, for us to grow it makes us stronger i mean like they say what what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger it makes you stronger you know we grow from the pain we learn from it it makes you learn this is what it is this masculine has to learn and only someone like you can make them feel it feel the pain so that they can learn from it yeah because he looks like uh their, their lifestyle here is not bringing them no happiness here. Spiritual warfare. They're going through a lot of chaos here. Ego death. Downward spiral. Spiritual awakening. They're getting awakening here. I'm telling you. Because of you. They're getting spiritual awakening here. Ego death. Chaos. Their, their life is in turmoil. Yeah. They're learning here. It's all part of the process. Part of the plan. So it's all about forgiveness, I feel. It's up to you. It depends on how badly this masculine treated you. I mean, if it was, if it's a case where <laughs> your life was threatened, you know, then you may, I don't know, yeah, it may not be that easy. But if it's not a case where your life wasn't wasn't threatened, your life wasn't in danger or, you know, whatever they did, it didn't, I don't know, it depends. It depends on whatever they did. So it's up to you. And if you want to forgive this person or not, it depends on how badly they hurt you. I'm getting. This person could have put your life in danger for some of you. Yes. Reckless. This masculine is giving reckless. They are reckless. Yeah, this masculine is reckless. They can get, they can turn into a tyrant, a bully at the best of times. So, it's up to you. But this masculine head, I, I feel like they're stalking you here. They're not gonna let you go that easy. So, I don't know. It's, it's best to just heal this connection, try and heal it the best that you can. You know, because this masculine is not gonna let you go. They're obsessed. They're stalking you as we speak. Telling you, look, in the near future, I'm telling you, they're coming. Telling you, they're not letting you go. They're not going to let this go. Yeah, they're making the effort. I'm telling you. Very soon. If not today, tomorrow, within a day or two, this masculine is coming in. Yeah, aren't your angels? Recovery. Yeah, your angels are with you. Yeah, helping you to heal, recovery. Yeah, you're healing from this. That's what it is. For some of you, you've already healed. Your healing's complete now. You're moving on. But yeah, your angels are with you, helping you, helping you to heal from what this mask, how this masculine treated you, man. I'm telling you, 
Yeah, you're ready. Yeah, you're ready for our next phase. Well, you're ready for what's coming. <laughs> you're ready for what's coming. Yeah, this message is coming. You're ready. I feel like you know everything that you need to know. More information. Get more information. Yeah, you you took the time to get more information before, you know, jumping into this situation with this masculine. Or you may need to take some time to get more information during this time before you jump into anything with this masculine. Get more information. I'm telling you, there's more. There's nothing shocking you're going to find out for some of you. I don't know. This must be what to tell you something. There's more. There's more that you don't know about this connection. So maybe you may want to give it a chance. I don't know. Give this masculine a chance. I don't know. Or maybe there's more information. Coming. That's going to help you decide. Could be something shocking here. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. This is what I'm getting here. More information is coming to help you heal. You're in recovery. Yeah. You're ready. You're ready. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so I'll leave it here. This is the messages for this reading. I hope it helps, you guys. I hope it helps. Or confirm what you already know. But yeah, this is what um, this is what you got coming in here. It looks like you're ready for it, though. I feel <laughs> it looks like you're ready for it. It's up to you. The ball's in your court here with this situation. Yeah, we've got this message here, so free to love. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's up to you. This masculine wants to open up their heart. They're sorry. They want to make things right with you, it looks like, during this time. Mm. So it's up to you what you do from here. Take, it, take your time, it looks like. Just take your time with it. You know, ask your angels if you've got any, you know, concerns or doubts if you're not sure any uncertainty ask your angels the angels are with you it looks like during this time you're surrounded by your guardian angels they help to help you recover so they're giving you downloads so trust the intuition and stuff so yeah they're connecting with you ask your angels it's up to you this is what i'm getting yeah you need to ask your angels here because this situation it's crazy, you know. It's a love hate connection. It's crazy, but um, it's all part of the process. I feel, you know, it's this this connection. You guys learn lessons. You know, this is someone learning a lesson here. They are learning lessons. You may have learned a lesson as well. So it's all about self improvement. It's helping, you know, heal the inner child. I feel this connection during this time. You guys are healing the inner child. There's growth here, I feel, taking place. There's also, there's some sort of spiritual growth taking place here. This is what I'm getting. Wow, so you lot are recovering from a battle, it looks like. Of spiritual warfare. You guys are in recovery, dealing with this masculine here. There's a spiritual warfare dealing with this connection. I'm telling you. You guys are in recovery because I feel like you got affected. This masculine brought you into a situation, some third party situation where they live a double life, you know, with someone else. They're little, they're in the closet and stuff. They're attaching you to all these energies here, you know. So you're in recovery. You're in recovery during this time. Or you've recovered. It's spiritual warfare, boy. I'm telling you, this mas masculine projected so much energies onto you. Negative toxic energies. Wow. Yeah, so you're in recovery. I feel like you have detached yourself to protect your energy. Yeah, this is it. So therefore it's backfired onto this masculine. This masculine is going through it. Chaos. Ego death. Downward spiral. Spiritual awakening. They're going through it. It's backfired here. Onto this masculine. This is why they want your forgiveness. 
Yeah, this masculine, they sent a lot of negative energy onto you, but they could have, oh, I don't know, I just heard witchcraft was involved. Yeah, this masculine had you in a situation where witchcraft was involved. Someone they were attached to, someone else that they were sleeping with in their double life is into witchcraft and they were projecting, yeah, doing witchcraft and things like that onto you out of jealousy. I'm getting that. Yeah, I did pick up on that in a previous reading. This masculine was involved with a dark witch. You're in recovery, yeah. There's some spiritual warfare they try to wage on you here. Wow. You're overcome. This is it. And now this masculine is going through it. Yeah, it's backfired back onto them. This is it. They want your forgiveness. Because they can't cope. With the warfare that they tried to put on you, now it's backfired onto them. They can't cope, but, but this is what they wanted for you. They wanted you to go on a downward spiral and be like this. This is what they wanted for you, this masculine. They didn't care. They wanted you to be like this in chaos and, you know. <sighs> warfare. This is what I'm getting. It backfired. And you're in recovery. Look at you, peaceful. They're going through it now. Yeah, that's why they want your forgiveness. They can't cope. They're drinking, drowning their sorrows. They can't cope with what they're going through. They, they, they're getting it left, right and centre. Oh, this masculine. This is what I'm getting. They're getting hit left, right and centre with bad karma and spiritual warfare and chaos. Yeah, angry. They're just angry. They're getting hit left, right and centre. Yeah. But how they treated you, this is what I'm getting. Yeah. They want your forgiveness now. They want your forgiveness. This is what it looks like. They need your forgiveness, your loving. This is what I'm getting here. Yeah. So this is a connection. I feel like this masculine wants to heal this connection with you during this time. You know, that may be, you know, you may want to consider it because, like I said, this mask is not leaving you alone. They're not. They're obsessed with you here. And, uh, yeah, they're not going to take no for an answer, it looks like. Yeah. So it's up to you. So I hope this reading helps you guys. Like I said, I'm going to leave it here for now. <laughs> I hope this reading helps confirm what you already know or give you insight and clarity during this time. So I thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if it does resonate with you in any way or if you just like the, the, the reading. I appreciate your support, you guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And I hope you join me in the next video. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.